The Hingham Heritage Museum is the headquarters of the Hingham Historical Society, which was founded in 1914 and for many decades was housed at the Old Ordinary property at 21 Lincoln Street. In the 1960s, Derby Academy was moving to its current location on Burdett Avenue, and the building, which was in need of some significant repair, hence Derby's relocation, was sold to the Hingham Historical Society, which in 1966 became owners of 34 Main Street, and it was affectionately called Old Derby Academy for years. The Historical Society at that time did some basic renovations of the building, and it was operated seasonally for years um, until uh, 2017, when the building was reopened as the Hingham Heritage Museum at Old Derby. The Hingham Historical Society, since its founding in 1914, was a volunteer-run organization until 2007 when its first executive director, Suzanne Buchanan, was hired and came on to serve the society in a phenomenal way for almost a decade. Under Suzanne's leadership, the town and the society uh, partnered through the Community Preservation Fund to renovate Old Derby to become the Hingham Heritage Museum, which is the building we have now today. So in 2013, the Community Preservation Committee voted and the town supported at town meeting to endow this building with a $1.1 million CPC grant, which was a full third of the funding to renovate Old Derby into our community's museum. In 2013, after many, many months of work by dedicated volunteers, the town voted to award the Hingham Historical Society with $1.1 million to renovate and expand Old Derby into the Hingham Heritage Museum so that we could have exhibit space, collection space, climate controlled uh, storage for our archives and collections, a reading room so that we could welcome people here. The overall purpose in renovating Old Derby Academy into the Hingham Heritage Museum is because Hingham is extremely fortunate. The Hingham Historical Society, through centuries of century of donation by Hingham residents and uh, descendants of Hingham residents, has built an archives and collections that really tells the history of the country as well as the history of our small town. And for many decades, those collections and archives were housed in the Old Ordinary or here in previously unrenovated Old Derby Academy building without accepted sort of preservation and uh, collection standards such as climate control, such as security. And the ability to renovate this building into the Hingham Heritage Museum where we do have climate and humidity controls on our storage space and proper lighting and dark storage where necessary and security enables us to preserve those collections and archives for generations to come. People in the community will remember that for decades Old Derby Academy was a community gathering space. Well, it was the, served as the headquarters of the Hingham Historical Society. The building was only open seasonally and in addition to portraits and case clocks, our collections and archives were not really on display. They were primarily housed in the third floor and the space was used as a gathering space and for functions, but it was compromised by the fact that it didn't have climate controls such as air conditioning and was not accessible to the entire community. So one of the primary functions in renovating and restoring Old Derby into the Hingham Heritage Museum was to make it accessible to everyone, to add an elevator, add handicap accessibility, and to be able to house our collections and archives in a safe, sound way for preservation purposes. I hope the community sees, and when they get to know their town, they see that the significance of the 
Hingham Historical Society's Hingham Heritage Museum and Visitor Center is central to the vibrancy of our town. You know, we know so many people move to Hingham because of its proximity to the water, its excellent schools, but also its amazing rich history, which as I said, if you know the history of Hingham, you know the history of our country. And that's pretty phenomenal and important. And we hope that the community looks to this building as their resource, the, the place where that history is preserved and promoted and celebrated and that we have such a beautiful central location in our historic downtown and I like to think of the Hingham Heritage Museum as the heart of, of the downtown historic district where all are welcome to come, residents and tourists alike, to get to know Hingham and get to know their community and by that way understand the history and understand the history of our country. The first floor of the Hingham Heritage Museum is our visitor center as well as the museum shop. Here we feature books about Hingham and by some of our favorite historians about American history. Here at the visitor center and museum shop you can also pick up house gifts and certain memorabilia to commemorate your town or your visit to the Hingham Heritage Museum. We have rotating temporary exhibits as well as a reading space for people to come in who do perhaps are limited on time and don't have time to explore our research area on the third floor. I'm standing on the porch at the Hingham Heritage Museum which has a wonderful view of our historic downtown Hingham Square. The patio here which is to my left was generously funded as the majority of the renovation was of the Hingham Heritage Museum by town's citizens who invested in commemorative bricks. The names of loved ones and family members. We invite people to come and find their bricks and to enjoy a sandwich or an ice cream or a cup of coffee here on our patio. Because with funding from the Community Preservation Act, in addition to generous individual donations and corporate donations for the formation of this building, we like to say the Hingham Heritage Museum is your museum and we invite people to come and enjoy this patio and the view of our town. Welcome to the ballroom at the Hingham Heritage Museum at Old Derby. This is our primary exhibit space where we have launched our inaugural exhibit, which I'm standing in front of, Boxes, Buckets and Toys, The Craftsman of Hingham. This exhibit has been enjoyed by two years of fifth graders in the Hingham Public Schools and students from St. Paul's School, Derby Academy, and our friends at Linden Ponds. Boxes, Buckets, and Toys was our inaugural exhibit because it speaks so much to the decades of Hingham's start when it was settled by European settlers up right up until industrialization where woodenware and the abundance of raw materials enabled an industry that made Hingham products travel the world. Uh, boxes and buckets and toys, as we say. This beautiful mural I'm standing in front of was painted by our uh, stalwart volunteer, Joan Broncale, and a wonderful team of dedicated volunteers and staff members put this exhibit together, which is now run at the museum for about two years. This exhibit space will um, include rotating exhibits um, into the future. Our next planned exhibit is the photography of Francis Cook McGregor, followed by the artwork of Bibi and Louis Ryle. And then in 2020, we're pleased to announce uh, our major, next major exhibit will be the archeological finds of the Greenbush train excavation um, that happened in Hingham. I'm standing in front of an additional aspect of our boxes, buckets, and toys exhibit here at the Hingham Heritage Museum at Old Derby. And here in the ballroom, in addition to our exhibits, the ballroom features many aspects of the Hingham Historical Society's permanent collection, such as oil paintings and case clocks by the Wilder family. And this space, when you, is used as a, for events and functions, um, those permanent pieces of our collection, such as artwork and tall case clocks, stay and give events a very unique and beautiful atmosphere for family and community celebrations. We've been proud to host everything from private weddings to the Hingham Education Foundation to the Miracle on Main Street event with the Downtown Association as well as different civic and uh, social groups in town. And we always want to serve as a gathering place for the community, as well as an educational space for museum exhibits. The renovation of Old Derby Academy into the Hingham Heritage Museum happened between 2015 and 2017. And during that renovation process, many of the original aspects of Old Derby Academy were preserved. 
including the stairwell behind me, which for decades remained the, was the primary way that people would get from the first floor of Old Derby to the ballroom. The students loved to learn about how these stairwells were used when this building was the home of Derby Academy. And as we proudly know, Derby was a co-educational school from its start. Uh, gender lines were still followed when boys and girls followed up the stairs according to their gender. Um, but I just wanted to point out these uh, historic aspects of our building that also serves now as a modern museum. One of the most exciting aspects of the renovation of Old Derby Academy into the Hingham Heritage Museum was the formation of the Kelly Gallery. We're proud to display incredible pieces of 17th, 18th, and 19th century furniture, artwork, and memorabilia that families have donated to the Hingham Historical Society over the years. We also partner with the Hingham Historical Commission and the Old Ship Parish community for display of the Lincoln Chair, which prior to finding a home here at the Hingham Heritage Museum was on display at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston in their American wing and had the proud honor of being the oldest piece in the MFA's American wing. That's on display here thanks in partnership to the Old Ship Church and the Hingham Historical Commission with us here at the Society for all to enjoy. The beauties about the formation of the Hingham Heritage Museum is it enabled the Historical Society to accept incredible donations from Hingham families that would be on permanent display for our community. I am standing in front of right now the Martin Gay Secretary, which was generously donated by the Gay family. Martin Gay was the son of Ebenezer Gay, the second pastor of the Old Ship Meeting House after Hingham's European founder, Peter Hobart. The Gay Secretary is an incredible piece of early American furniture, and we invite you to come to the Hingham Heritage Museum to learn more about it. From the second floor of the Hingham Heritage Museum, we have a beautiful grand staircase that leads up to the third floor of the Hingham Heritage Museum, which is now beautifully graced with the Gillis Reading Room, as well as our archive storage and our dark storage, in addition to restrooms. I invite you upstairs to see these spaces. We're standing in the archive space at the Hingham Heritage Museum, which was one of the greatest benefits of the renovation of Old Derby into the museum. This climate-controlled, humidity-controlled space enables us to store photographs, family papers, civic organization papers, and artwork in a safe and sound space for preservation for future generations. When you come to the Hingham Heritage Museum for research purposes, you're provided access to these archives with a staff member of the society to pursue the research questions that you have about Hingham. Certain aspects of the archives and collections of the Hingham Historical Society are better suited in what we call dark storage, things like textiles, dresses, suits, military uniforms that have been donated to the society over the years need to be kept from the harmful rays of sunlight and daylight, and so we have this beautiful dark storage facility to adequately house that collection. In addition, we proudly host um, in joint ownership with the Town of Hingham's Historic Commission, the John Richardson collection of photographs and papers and documents that we invite the community to come in and research on. John Richardson was a longtime Hingham Town historian, and when he passed, um, the town and the society paired together to purchase that collection for research and posterity. Here on the third floor of Hingham Heritage Museum is the Gillis Reading Room, a spectacular space that has preserved the schoolhouse light fixtures and the chalkboards from when it was Derby Academy, and now serves as a multifunction reading room, lecture space, archive space, research facility, staffed by Hingham Historical Society volunteers and staff members, the public is welcome to come to the research room Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays during public research hours from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. to research any question you have about structures, events, people that have a connection to Hingham history. It's also a beautiful space to volunteer. We always need help cataloging and digitizing our collection for preservation purposes. And as I mentioned, throughout the year, we host a variety of programs up here, including meetings, lectures, readings, 
and opportunities to gather as a community, a spectacular space that we hope you'll come see. Our future plans include expanding our media center so that we can gather people in this space to watch overview videos before their exploration of the museum, the old ordinary campus, or our larger um, museum that is the town of Hingham. We will still offer books and postcards and stationery and memorabilia for your trip to Hingham and the place for you to buy Hingham-related gifts. The Hingham Heritage Museum at Old Derby is open to the public Wednesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Staff members are here most days of the week, and so we are also open by appointment if, if that works better for people's schedule.